I don't expect anybody who puts me in prison. It's, and it's the least, if someone puts me in here, and the more um, polite I am to and the kinder, the more I lay back, that's not going to make them take their foot off their neck. It's going to make you want to crush them more. If you're in a fight with somebody and you hurt them, the objective of the fight is not to back off and let them recoup. The objective is to smash into oblivion. But the law says if you made a mistake, you were sent. the law says that? The law of the United States? Yeah. Well, who controls the law of the United States? Legislations. Yeah, legislations that have their whole own agenda. Laws mean nothing. You give me the currency of a country and you can have all, you can make all the rules in the world. And that's all that matters. Who's in control? So boxing has boxing has no real accountability, no structure for support, no no real, you know lateral structure and conformity nothing unilateral because you have different states that have different commissions and you know they're supposed to be tied together but they all act differently and there's no national commission there's no body there's no dictator there's no czar there's no there's no nba commissioner there's no nfl commissioner there's no mlb commissioner right. that overlooks and polices the whole sport and there's no separation of church and state, so to speak, where the people making the money in the sport are separated, truly separated, from the people supposedly administrating this. There's no separation. So you have to understand, you're dealing with human beings, so you're dealing with the probability of what's happening. Wow. And you have to also know this about boxing. It's the only business in the world, it's the only business, legalized business, that Everything is not always on top of the table. There's always something under the table. It's always, it's not going to work. Wow. This is how it works. And why, why is that in 2012 that, you know, boxing is still... It should be taken over by the government. You oh, know, it wow. doesn't have like a like a governing body like the NFL or the no, NBA. Exactly, exactly. Just like with 50 Cent. This is, this is like 50, 50 is, a, is a rap star. 50 is an entertainer. 50 is a... Uh, entrepreneur and Sidney don't really know the ins and outs of boxing. He knows probably what Sway tells him. But once he gets in this arena, it's a wrap. Once he gets in this arena, anybody that was ever his friend that's on the other side is his enemy. Their job is to totally decimate him wow. financially, get him out of the business. Yo, All right. So now anybody, any fighters, anybody that's the possible, they're not on your team. Uh, it's, it's, this is what it is. It's a gang. Uh, boxing was developed from gangs. You know the old Irish guys, old Dutch guys. It was a guy named Jim Bleacher. Wow. And he always listen. And he always put his slash on his corner. So that's how we got the red and blue corner. But you know what the red means? That's my gang. That's the representation of the gang. My political what? gang. But if I win this fight, like the ancient, if I win this fight against your champion, it's all gang. Gangs it's all it's all uh, it's all um originates from gang, the whole world. And if my gang wins this fight, we own the whole district until you get a champion that can beat my fighter. Like that, if you don't want if you don't want to accept that challenge, my gang against your gang, then people, a lot of people die. So they pick their champion, his champion, and the red represents, and the blue, Democrat and Republican. Get the fuck out of here. That's and that was all. Yeah, oh, that's, what, that's what the corners represent. No one knows that. But it represents Democrat and Republican. Told the truth about the ins and outs. And the most exciting part about the red and blue, how they strike each corner, and it's about the Republican Democrats, that tells you that the elites run this, man. It's like in biblical times, they had the gladiators perform for them, for Caesar. Well, all of these fightings and sports figures are nothing but entertainment for the elite. Yeah, of talent. He was set up and was told to say what he could say, to ridicule white folks, to make it seem like he's not a part of any slaveholder or no one half chuckled on him. He became very believable to the ghetto kids and he took them all for broke. Don King is nothing but a cook. And that's just the truth. About John the world. So now what we're gonna do is the work is to solve the grievances that we have here. What are you gonna do to help us? We gotta do our we gotta help ourselves. And how do we do that? By unity, solidarity together. I'm unified with my brother. That's right. my brother. All right, what are you gonna make it happen? We will make it happen. What are you gonna do to help us? We're gonna do everything that we can because I'm one of you. I'm with the master. No, I need help us.
as you began this project for us. Well, what we wanted to do is just record what Mike and Don had to say. I felt that they would be very comfortable with us, knowing me that they would let their defenses down because a lot of times we have to be careful what the media's, what the, how the media's to betray them. And we just wanted to document that. Uh, and we just let, we just rolled the camera, that's what we did. We shot a 35 millimeter black and white and we approached it as if we were making a film. You have said publicly that you regard yourself as a friend and a fan of Mike Tyson's. Right. Is this journalism or advocacy? It's both. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I think that Mike and Don have got humbled and oppressed a lot. And if I could help them, you know, to not really change their image, I think that a lot of people look at this piece and still not like them. But uh, I think that they have to make up their own minds. We're going to talk to them. I love it when... Jews love the Jews. I think that's noble. Uh, Italians love Italians. When Irish love Irish. But when a nigga loves a nigga, it's an unpardonable sin. We can't be right. You're a nigga till you die. If you're a poor nigga, you're a poor nigga. If you're a rich nigga, you're a rich nigga. But you never stop being a nigga. If you get to be educated, you're just an educated nigga. You understand? The poverty, poverty, ignorance, lecherousness, lewdness, evil. Everything that was negative and unholy was attributed to the black people. And everything that was holy and glorified was attributed to the white people. The money, the wealth, the power. And with the blacks is the powerlessness that we have to be able to deal with against the power. You got to understand that negative association and coupled with blackness is what makes these things happen. It's been a condition of racism since this country was founded 400 years ago. Because working together works. But Cassius Clay, known as Ali today, had a bigger problem because he was being controlled and manipulated by a man by the name of Elijah Muhammad. I stand for my religious belief. I stand for my people, speaking up for my people, all of them are with me, and that's all I want. Can I come back to the, your association with the black Muslims? Have you paid them a lot of money? Well, uh, this is another propaganda thing, it's a good question, that uh, people uh, has, here in America has tried to paint the image where I was being used by the Islamic religion just for prestige and for money. I'd like to say that after all of my fights, White America, as I said earlier, took 90% first, which left me 10%. I divorced my first wife. It cost me about $200,000 in alimony. The judge, he was against me too. I was married 11 months, no children, and I have to pay a woman $1,200 a month for 10 years. This is another thing directed just in me. Uh, yes, sir. I'll leave you exactly what was going on. You tap dance around that question the way people tap dance and ice him. But he did the right thing because he had family. He didn't want nothing happening to his babies. What about Ali? Highly ridiculed. Malcolm X said Malcolm went bad, he went evil. That was kind of a low blow because Malcolm was nothing but good to Ali. So nevertheless, that troubles Ali today. Doing the thrill in Manila with Don King was the worst thing to ever happen to black fighters was a good guy. He was a country boy. And all he knew was fighting. He was an honest guy. But he was in the public's eye. And he was becoming rich. And the Muslims set their eye on him. Because they know they could get a nice penny for him. Ali knew half the things that were going on with lies. But he was so afraid of going against them. Because they could turn his life upside down. If you remember the movie with Will Smith. When Ali found out they were lying to him, he fired them for about 48 hours and hired them back because he didn't want to back on Right? And wasn't getting half what he was fighting for. Boxing was getting badder, or should we say worse, than the music industry. 
It's all about the show. It's all about the fans. It's all about how to sell something. This is the problem with baseball and all the rest of sports. How can one man make a hundred million dollars to hit a ball? It has become utterly ridiculous. And you people sitting back paying fifty dollars, hundred to two hundred dollars, sixty a season. You gotta be out of your mind. Sports music has always been ran by the mob. Now the mob has gotten smart. They got lawyers to write their contracts. Yes, they joined corporate America. They stopped so much of the killing. And so what they do now is ridicule you, make you look bad in front of the public, make you look like a pedophilia, a pedophile. They make you look sarcastic and crazy. See, that's how they do it now. They kill you with the fountain pen instead of killing you with the gun. And also they kill you with the brotherhood because most of them too are very demonic. My mind, God has had an improvement. Much like God has had an improvement. Much like the picture next to God has had an improvement. Much like the picture next to My, my, my. The reason Floyd put his hands in the curtain was Floyd's point of brother. Some may even say he signed his name in blood on the cross. These people have left us a resume to view. And the resume is horrible. But we're going to review it and tell you the truth and not be hidden anymore. Let's pull up some friends of Floyd. This whole picture is satanic. The little vice that's above, that's really a woman with her legs open and short. He's ruthless, he's a thing to prove, he doesn't know how to love anybody. They, I mean, promoters actually, that are making the money and have obviously a horse that's running in the game, so to speak, that night, uh, that they want that fighter to win. They pay the judges. And there's no, there's no, again, there's no buffer, there's no separation where you can have promoters and managers that can actually go to the commission and say, we don't want these judges to judge. They can't say, put this judge in, but they can knock judges out. And the commissions will listen to them. Uh, the alphabet organizations, they're corrupt. Um, they are. I mean, it's not Teddy Atlas saying it, but they're corrupt. I mean, if you're gonna be honest about it and, you're not, and you don't have an agenda where you're afraid to say it because you have an agenda, which a lot of people do in the, my business. They have an agenda, so they're not gonna say it. They... And suggested that Tom Brady was at least generally aware. We get late details from NBC's Peter Alexander. This video has been blowing up on the web over the last few days, causing NFL fans great anger after the Patriots upset the Jacksonville Jaguars to advance to the Super Bowl for the 10th time. If you look closely, this referee appears to be celebrating the touchdown with the Patriots when he should have been officiating the game. This video has fans crying foul and forced the league to finally acknowledge that the NFL games are sometimes fixed in order to drive revenue and ratings. Watch that again, the same referee congratulating Tom Brady after the upset. Not only did the video cause NFL fans to hemorrhage from their brains, it also caused uproar with the players. Denver Broncos star TJ Ward simply tweeted, rigged, shaking my head. The next morning, Jaguars quarterback Jalen Ramsey confirms everyone's suspicions when he admits, coach told us in the middle of the fourth to give the game to New England. We didn't want to, but commissioner said it's best for the league. Ramsey quickly deleted the tweet, but it seems it was already too late. Reports out of New York indicate that Roger Goodell has permanently banned Ramsey from the league in response to his tweet. In an interview this morning, Colin Coward grilled Goodell over the ban and asked if he had maybe taken things too far. It is, and I have been sitting on this for quite some time, Hey, but here is the problem. Here is why those edges of the seats lie. The NBA is not rigged. It is, and I have been sitting on this for quite some time, but pure fiction. It is a pre-scripted entertainment option that we have all fallen victim to. 
Let me explain. It starts with the referees, but certainly goes far beyond the show. Without the dream life of my coach. Man, don't make me get the smack your lineup. I'm Michael Jordan, y'all have a minor that rap for China. All black and the mask, love, tough the thing. Drive slow, lights out like I learned this game. See, I live this, y'all paint that big. And y'all like magic, I'm starting to believe you do take that sick. I feel like basketball has horrid officiating uh, out of all the sports that, that require uh, replay, that, that have replay involved. The officiating is horrible. Uh, it's an insult. It's an insult to watch. Uh, I think this goes back to the referee. The referee, uh, Tim, Tim, Tim Donaghy. Donaghy. Tim Donaghy, uh, scamming on the games, I think. They want to have relationships, so they stay away from it, and and uh, they understand how the corruption works. So they understand, uh, you know, is it is it a smoky room with cigars like the old days where Frankie Cabo was running things, and you put an envelope? No, it's not that. But uh, you might be paying thirty thousand dollars for an ad, and, and, and at a convention for the WBA or the WBC or the. WIBF or WBO or whatever the heck they are, and you might be paying thirty thousand for an ad. What, 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 you you know why you paid the thirty thousand for that? I don't think that you just like to see um, your name in there in, uh, in the brochure. There's, there was a purpose behind paying that ad, and um, you have the administrators of the sport, the commissions, and then you have the alphabet organizations that get paid sanction and fee from the champion. So they want that champion to win. Nobody saying, well, the manager can't talk to the sanctioned organization. The motor can't. Of course they can talk to them and say, I want my guys rated high. Of course they have access. So they have access to talking to somebody. at that table that are going to work the fight the next night and you will see the organizational heads the heads of that section and body and, and the guys that are in charge the presidents vice presidents um, supervisors uh, judges referees guess who the host of the dinner is the promoter there's something wrong with that I mean there's something greatly wrong with that right. so the host of the dinner it's a big bill Obviously, I mean, it's a lot of people, it's a good restaurant, they're eating all the best stuff, drinking the best wines and everything else, so it's a big bill, and it's being picked up by the promoter who wants a specific fighter to win that night, right. and he's got all, he's got access to all the judges, all the officials, all the organizational heads, now, so... I would say to it can't happen. It, yeah, happens, it goes unchecked in boxing. But it happens all the time in boxing. And just the look of impropriety is wrong. It should be wrong. It, it should be wrong in baseball. It should be wrong in football. It should be wrong in NBA. But it should be even more wrong in a sport where you risk so much. And they they can't. I don't... I'm going to be careful saying this, but not that careful. But... Uh, because you have to say it, I don't think that they care as much about the people in boxing. I don't think they do either. Yeah. Bruce, can you tell us what happened? Well, you know, I came in to fight. I'm in great shape. You know, like I said earlier, I wasn't intimidated by Mike Tyson at all. You know, I, I see, you see, I came out to fight. I came out here to win. But um, well, there were those who would question that. This whole this whole audience is hollering. Now they're trading shots. What happened, Emmanuel? 
Now they both go out of the ring, and Cintron has taken a horrific fall off the edge of the canvas, prone position on the floor outside the ring, and not because of a punch, but rather because he and Williams first wrestled with each other, then tripped over each other. Cintron's body momentum carried him under the ropes and outside the ring. Result to entry, he was judged the loser in the fight. And and the people that come into it and everything else, I'm not going to get into all the other stuff that you could get into that, you know, is so popular to get into in some ways nowadays. You mean like racism? Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm not going to get into that because I don't want to and I, I don't have, you know, definitive uh, things to show for that. Right. I just know how I Well, the perception of the sport. The I perception just know, yeah. of the sports, it's not... It's not cherished the way baseball's cherished. When there's a big fight like Canelo and Triple G, people get excited, and a lot of people will buy it, but it's not necessarily thought of as something that represents America. Depression, one of the many conditions from playing football. Among older retired players from the NFL who have a history of concussion, their rate of depression is nearly three times higher than that of the general population, which could potentially lead to... A former San Diego Chargers linebacker was found dead of a gunshot wound this morning. ABC News and ESPN have learned exclusively that Seau's brain showed signs of CTE, chronic traumatic encephalopathy the concussion-related injury that is at the center of today's football safety controversy. Chiefs linebacker Jovan Belcher fatally shooting his girlfriend and then taking his brain after his death. Pathologists who examined Belcher's brain after his death detected a which is identified with chronic Traumatic encephalopathy.